Hey guys, what's going on? It's Elliot. Um, so I'm making this video to do just a really general life update since uh, a few of the milestones I've had. One of which starting T. I started um, August 19th, 2010 in the form of Androgel. And slowly over the next three years... Um, I went from androgel and increasing uh, my dosage of that to injections intramuscularly and slowly increasing my dosage of that until I'm on a full dose now of uh, one cc every week. Um, and it's been over a year now that I've been on that dosage. Uh, the other milestone was... Um, being involved in the Transgendered Calendar Project last year for this 2013 calendar year. I'm the current month of October right now, so hopefully you guys are all looking at my, um, I don't know, my, my hopefully handsome face every day when you wake up. Um, and that was a great experience for me um, in Philadelphia my second year going to the Trans Health Conference there, I hooked up with Alex Haney, who was putting this project together to raise funds for trans-related surgeries and, um, you know, just helping out and good people, you know. So that project is still happening, and it's it's gaining a lot of headway, and it's getting big, so it's awesome. Uh, that project and the funds raised from uh, last year's calendar um, helped fund my, my name change, which is in the process um, of getting completed with all of my paperwork and everything. So um, May of 2014, it should be, it should be good. I should be Elliot, <laughs> and I should have an M on my license, and... And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great, great thing to be part of. Um, so much has changed for me since transition. Um, I've gone through different avenues of, of perception, even just on my own gender identity and sexual identity, um, where I'm situated within the binary system, how I identify with social groups and... Um, I've opened up spiritually a lot since transitioning. Um, the other huge milestone for me was my top surgery. I had with Dr. Garamoni January 24th of 2013 this year. And um, it's, it's opened me up. We'll just say that. I mean, being constricted physically has a huge effect on you emotionally, mentally, psychically, spiritually... Um, not to mention the extra weight, you know. So, just not having that constricted reality every day. Um, there's not a day that goes by that I don't feel thankful for that. Um, so, that, that part of me, becoming myself physically, has been amazing. And I've had so much support on my journey and... I think that the positive perspective that I take on everything and my willingness to share information and not take offense and not be uh, defensive in, in, a, in an exclusionary type of way when people don't understand trans identities has sort of spread a lot of knowledge among people that may not know any other trans people. So I feel like my whole journey is about um, my own personal knowledge and my own personal growth and also sharing all of that with the people around me. And that's what helps build community, right? So I've had such a good time with it. Um, I, I've been working in the caregiving field um, as a resident aide, taking care of individuals with uh, physical and mental disabilities for uh, about three years now and I've transitioned within the company um, it's been interesting uh, 
I'm unionized, I have full benefits, and uh, it's it's a it's a legit job where you have the human resources department and you know state regulations and government regulations and transitioning in a company like that um, it's been it's been really cool and um, surprisingly non-discriminatory um, so that's been wonderful and and people I've, I've gotten to see people that aren't very diversified with LGBTQ things accept me and I've seen them struggle and also succeed in pronouns and name change and um, just every aspect of it. Um, and, and my openness I, I think is directly related to uh, that. So my life is uh, sort of solitary um, with, with the quality of my, my friendships and my relationships seem to grow um, every day with, with work and diligence put into them. And um, I spend a lot of time working with individuals that it, it doesn't take much to please them and that sort of grounds you uh, on a humanitarian level and it feels very good and my alone time with myself is valuable and, and I have a few people in my life that I, I feel are you know, great additions and, and make things worthwhile for me. I feel balanced, you know. Um, I'm not really feeling like being partnered with anybody either. I've just I've been doing my thing and you know focusing on what I can give to the world and um, not what the world has to give me. Um, so I've grown a lot. I've I've grown so much since starting my transition. I feel like I was always myself, but I've I've become. A, version of myself that I really respect and um, that I really accept and, and I still struggle with a lot of things um, every day about accepting myself but you know it's it's in the foreground of my mind all the time and, and I try my best so I'm, I'm generally happy and I'm doing very well and I see the progress that everybody's making and, and I see this transgender calendar project just being a huge part of this community um, that can often be very marginalizing and um, misogynistic too. So uh, I'm really glad that I can be a part of that. Uh, so I have facial hair. I'll do all the little things that trans guys do. <laughs> I have facial hair growing everywhere. Um, my voice is deepened. I'm getting better at singing. Uh, my musculature has shifted and it still shifts and my facial hair still is coming in. So, um, I'm, I'm not done changing, <laughs> um, and I will show you my chest if you want to see it. If you don't, look away, because here it comes. So, here's my chest. I'm doing pretty good. My scars are beautiful. I'm happy with my scars. I don't feel ashamed of them. This summer was my first summer at the pool, um, being open and you know, not being afraid, and, uh, yeah, I feel like my nipples are still healing slowly, but, uh, sometimes, you know, you want to test them and everything, and it's, they still feel like, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be rough, you know, um, but generally, this is how I'm healing, and, uh, I feel so good, I feel so much like myself, and, you know, I, I just, I'm happy and um, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful that anybody has been following my progress and hopefully it gives people hope and <laughs> encouragement. Um, so yeah, it's, what is today? It's October 9th and uh, so that makes this, what, like eight months almost? Uh, post-top surgery, um, so yeah, feeling pretty good, and today's shot day, so hopefully, uh, everybody out there is having a great day, be good to one another, and, um, you know, spread the love, see you guys.